Hi, my name is Jacob Madsen, and I am excited to talk to you today about Atomic Habits. Today, we're going to start with a man by the name of Clarence Kingsbury. Clarence was a professional cyclist. At the height of his career, he was the fastest man on two wheels. His greatest accomplishment was winning, the, winning an Olympic gold medal in 1908. Surely, Clarence was the greatest rider in cycling history at the time. But what would happen to British um, cycling after Clarence? After Clarence retired, the British cycling team definitely hit a slump. They would metaphorically crash and burn. They would become the laughingstock of the cycling world, so much so that bike manufacturers would refuse to sell to the British cycling team. The British cycling team after Clarence wouldn't win a gold medal in over 100 years and no Tour de France victories in 110 years. This transitions into what we're going to talk about today with atomic habits and what the British cycling team did to get out of that long slump. Atomic habits, the book Atomic Habits author James Clear said, atomic is something small like an atom and is the fundamental unit in larger systems. Habits are the small decisions you make and actions you perform every day. The small 1% things we do make a big impact. James Clear outlined four ways to establish good habits. Those were to make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, and make it satisfying. Let's take a look into the four simple ways that we make better habits in our lives. The first way is to make it obvious. When we establish habits, there's first a cue. The cue triggers our brain to initiate a behavior. The cue is your brain's first indication that you are close to a reward. Second, the second is to make it attractive. Cravings are the second step. They are the motivational force behind every habit. Third, it's to make our habits easy. The third step is our how we respond. This is the actual habit you perform. We're gonna take a look into an example later that can greater highlight this. And the fourth is to make our habits satisfying. The fourth step is all about the reward. The cue is to make, or making it obvious, is all about noticing the reward. The craving, also known as making it attractive, is about um, wanting the reward and the response, making it easy or what we actually do, the habit we perform is all about obtaining the reward. An ample of this is here. So our cue would be making it obvious. So we walk into a dark room. The craving or the second law to make it attractive would be we want to be able to see. So the response, making it easy, is we flip on the light switch. And our reward would be our craving is satisfied to see the light turns on and we're no longer in a dark room. So just like we can establish good habits in our lives to better perform at a higher level, that's exactly what the British cycling team did. In 2003, Sir Dave Brailsford was hired as the new British cycling team coach and his accomplishments led to 38 gold medals in the last six Olympics and four Tour de France victories within the last six years. Dave Brailsford's approach to breaking, back, breaking habits down and making them simple has led to years and years of dominance. How can you make better habits in your life? James Clear said, we do not rise to the level of our goals, but we fall to the level of our systems. If we have better habits established in our lives, we will be able to see greater results and live happier. Thank you.